If you're in the market for a mirror dash cam and are looking for 4K recording, you might want to consider the Nexigo D90 4K Ultra Mirror Dash Cam. Now, this is the first dash cam that can support memory cards larger than 128 gigabytes. It can actually support all the way up to 256 gigabytes. And on this video, I'm gonna review it, show you its features, and then I'll show you video at night and day so we can see how well it actually performs. And as always, I have placed a link in the description down below also, if you'd like to look at this dash cam further or acquire one for yourself. And here's the Nexigo D90 4K mirror dash cam. As you can see, this thing is a full 12 inches in size, high resolution display. And when the display is off, this can work like a regular mirror and towards the top of the dash cam we have the input for the gps and the memory card slot and they already include a memory card of 128 gigabytes in size which in my opinion is more than enough but if you want to go higher like i said earlier this is the first dash cam mirror that supports memory cards all the way up to 256 gigabytes in size then we have the input for the rear camera and then we have the input for power and on the bottom of the dash cam we have a single power button that allows us to turn off the display or turn off the dash cam entirely and here is the rear of the nexico d90 mirror dash cam now this dash cam is using dual sony sensors both for the front camera and the rear camera and the front camera actually can slide out which is going to be convenient if there's anything in the way of its view that we are trying to clear and we can also adjust and point the camera further to adjust the angle and get the best possible view and to mount the nexico dash cam it is placed on top of the original mirror of the vehicle and then secured with the silicone straps one on each side now they do include two sizes a large one and a small one to accommodate different mirror sizes and ensure that we have a nice secure fit and here's what the rear camera looks like and i gotta say this is probably the most elegantly designed rear camera that i have seen sometimes these things look quite generic but this one doesn't it has a nice texture to it it has a modern finish and the body is made out of metal the rear camera is also waterproof so it can be installed both outside or inside of the vehicle now the front camera is using the four, sony sensor 415 and the rear camera is using the sony sensor 307 now the camera also has this little bracket to allow us to aim the camera and then lock that position in place now installing it is done with this double-sided adhesive tape that they provided i peel this and i stick this on here i peel the back find the spot where i want to put it and then stick that to my car and we also get the extension cable to connect the dash cam to the rear camera the extension cable has a 2.5 millimeter plug on one end and a four pin connector on the other the extension cable has a total length of between 22 and 23 feet long and this is the gps antenna that comes with the nexico dash cam it has a 3.5 millimeter plug on one end and the gps antenna has double-sided tape in the back so i can peel this and i can stick this somewhere in my dash so it doesn't rattle as you can see it shows up so it has to point towards the sky so it can get the satellites and to power up the nexico dash cam they have included the cigarette lighter adapter plug with a mini usb right angle connector we also get my favorite installation tool which is this little spatula and this makes life a lot easier because it allows me to push the cables into the trim of the car without having to remove any panels and finally we get an instruction manual in english with plenty of illustrations giving us an overview of the installation process and the features of the dash cam now talking about warranty this comes with a one-year warranty but nexico says that if you register this dash cam they will give you an additional year for a total of two years of warranty and this is the nexico 4k d90 mirror dash cam now normally this is going to turn on automatically whenever we turn on the car i like to turn that manually so we can see how fast it takes to turn on and it is recording and we can tell that because we can see that there's a red blinking dot over here also on the left hand side we have a nice little compass that shows north and we also have our miles per hour now on the right hand side we have the date and the time and i like that they use a very small clean font so unless if you get very large fonts it kind of gets in the way of the view but this is just perfect and right now we're looking at 
the rear camera and I can further adjust the view by sliding my finger on the left hand side on the screen and I can just let go of that. I like it somewhere about here, this is about right. Now if I do the same thing on this side, this instead of moving the camera, adjust the brightness of the screen. Very convenient, very intuitive, especially if you find that this is too bright at night, you can lower that brightness. By the way, I leave mine on full blast all the time. Now if I swipe my finger from one side to the other, we can swap views. Now we are presented with the front view. And man, I'm telling you, 4K video looks extremely, extremely clear. You can see how clear this is in comparison to 10 HD. I'll swap one more time so you can see now the comparison between the front camera at 4K and the rear camera at 1080 full high definition. If I flip that one more time, this dash cam does something that I haven't seen before. It takes the same split view, but it flips it. If for some reason you wanted to have the rear and the front at the same time, and if you wanted to change the position of that, and I had a viewer ask me about this, so I know there's people out there who want that, you can definitely do so. But I always normally drive with this on the rear view by default. I find that the most comfortable. Now, if I type on the screen one more time, we can also stop the recording and we can <laughs> drive around and use this like an LCD mirror without any, any evidence being recorded if for some reason we wanted not to have evidence. <laughs> if we saw something interesting in the road, we could take a picture with the camera icon. Also, if we happen to see something of particular interest, perhaps we drove by an accident and we want to flag that video so we can see it later, you can click on this on here and this little exclamation mark tells the dash cam to flag the video and save it in a special place because it considers it an emergency and that you want to further look at that video later. Now, if at any point in time you wanted to review the videos, you can click on the video right here. And I like this. It's actually probably one of the cleanest interface in terms of how they sorted out the videos. We have from photos, we have from special videos, the ones that we flagged, and we also have the regular video, the ones that are not flagged, which is, means that's just video when the dash cam is recording. So it's really neat that they have made this into simple folders that we can look at. And let's just look out of a curiosity at the rear video. <laughs> and that's the video. And you could also take the memory card out to your computer and see the videos that way. But you also have this little microphone button right here. And if I tap that, that turns off the recording of audio. Perhaps if we wanted to tell our best friend a secret and we don't want that to be recorded, <laughs> we can temporarily turn off the audio. And this dash cam also supports reversing guidelines, which are enabled by connecting the optional red wire to the reversing taillights of the car. And notice what happens when I put the car on reverse is going to automatically switch to a reversing view. So if you saw the camera angle change, so now it's lower, so we can see the sidewalk a little bit better, and we have the reversing guidelines, which are also adjustable. This is a huge plus, something that you don't find very often, and you can see that you have three different settings to adjust these guidelines to better match your vehicle. And when we put the car back on park, the mirror returns to its original view. And now let's move over to the settings. Now in the settings, we can change the resolution if you wanted to lower that to 2K or if you wanted to go 1080, you could do that if you wanted to fit more in your memory card. But let's talk about the G sensor sensitivity. This dash cam has the ability to sense when you get into a car crash and automatically flag that video. And here's what you tell the dash cam how sensitive to be to a bump triggering the dash cam. Now, if you set this too high, every single little movement of the car or somebody bumping into the car, perhaps closing a door, can potentially trigger the dash cam into thinking that you got into a car crash. So I keep this in low to reduce the amount of false alerts, but experiment with the setting is going to vary from car to car. Now this dash cam supports time last recording. This is kind of a rare feature. I don't see this very often on mirror dash cams. And you do need to hardwire the dash cam in order for you to enable this, but then you can potentially capture time lapse in between 12, 24, or 48 hour increments. And now the sleep mode, this dash cam can actually turn the screen off and then you can keep using it as a regular mirror if you wanna record in what I call stealth mode, but I wanna keep my mirror LCD panel on all the time. So I keep that 
ass off, especially because I can always do this. I can always just click it off and I use it as a regular mirror, the dash cam still recording and I can click it on again. And this menu keeps on going. Let's talk about the rear camera display. This allows us to flip the rear image vertically or horizontally, which is helpful if the rear camera was mounted upside down and we wanted to correct for that issue, we can do that here. And we also have a fatigue reminder. This is a nice feature that reminds you every so often, actually every two hours, to take a rest. Bing! So that's kind of nice. Make sure that you're not falling asleep at the wheel. And now that you're familiar with the advanced features of this dash cam, let's go take a look at some driving footage both in day and at night. And that was the Nexigo D90 4K mirror dash cam. Now this is quite an interesting dash cam because it actually combines several features that people have been asking for some time. You got 4K recording, you got adjustable reversing guidelines, and you have the ability to load a memory card that's higher than 128 gigabytes, which so far has been the max for all mirror dash cams that we've seen. And this is the first one that can accept larger memory cards than that if you wanted to run them. So if you guys have any other questions regarding this mirror dash cam, please put that in the comments is down below remember i placed a link in the description to this dash cam if you want to look at this further or acquire one for yourself and if you found any part of this video helpful please hit the thumbs up button to support the channel and stay tuned as i have a lot more cool car gadgets coming up thank you guys for watching and as always i'll see you on the next one